Hi guys, welcome to the Citizen Channel. I hope you're all staying safe and well. Please, if you are new to this channel, please push that subscribe button. We do everything city past and present here on these little vlogs, so I do try and inform and entertain. And there's some links on screen as well for Facebook and Twitter where I do post loads of city stuff. So if you follow a friend me on there, I do check every few days and follow a friend everyone back. And if you do get a chance, please have a check out my uh, film and TV channel as well, uh, which I try and inform and entertain on there and all the latest films and TV drama here in the UK and from around the world. So if you can check that out, that will be fantastic. Anyway, hope you enjoy today's feature. Welcome to episode 18 of the One City Show, yeah, where we have a look at uh, the media and city fans and city itself, and we we try and be positive on this, I don't put too much, uh, there's obviously there's lots of things on the, on the media against city, uh, if there's anything funny and humorous I'll put it on, but uh, yeah, we just try and look at the positives on city media, we don't talk about transfers and rubbish like that, unless they've actually happened, and uh, as I'm recording this, of course, we've only got the one guy at the moment, and we're still hanging on the other one, but uh, please join me have a look around the media some nice things as well some funny things and some serious things as we always do on this uh, so welcome for this one right let's get on with this there's quite a lot to get through today it's been about uh, 12 13 days since the last one so we've got lots of packing they'll be out every couple of weeks these things with their stuff city orientated media stuff right our first look it's images, yeah. Uh, Jamie Bunny, yeah, uh, shared a great image of his lad. And we do these little fully full kit ones, don't we? Fully kitted up, absolutely brilliant. That's one of my favourite pictures there from uh, Jamie Bunny. I hope you like that. I'll be, I'll be putting these images left and right as we go through this and getting them all on because there's plenty to get on. It's great fun when I'm editing this, trying to find where I put these pictures. That's the best bit about it. Uh, yeah, so super from Jamie Bunny there. Uh, Chris Bezik took a pic of his lads uh, ready for the trip to the community show. Shield, yeah, at uh, Wembley, yeah, oh, sadly it didn't go great for us, did it? But uh, still a wonderful picture, I love that picture. And Paul shared his pics of his family group, of course, ready for Wembley as well, so that was superb. Again, how disappointing, you know, to get all dressed up, get all dressed up, but hey, it doesn't matter, does it? Win or lose, we're there, aren't we? I was going to say we're on the booze then, but they're far too, far too young to be on the booze, aren't they? Uh, Sheldon, of course, picked. Sheldon at Sheldon Floyd 93 yeah if you have to obviously where there's an at I'll put it and stuff like that I'm sure they don't mind some of these posted this wonderful pic of uh, Little Cole oh, fantastic isn't that br absolutely outstanding stuff from Sheldon there at Sheldon Floyd 93 I mean that is superb I'm sure he'll, uh, he'll grow up and he'll be, he'll be there in the south stand in the, in the old railway seats uh, chanting away and shouting away uh, yeah, just away from him, just a second kit, which is obviously universally liked. I've not seen much negativity about it. According to Simon Bukowski, he uh, set a new club record uh, for day one shirt sale. So there's no surprise there because it is, it is a really nice kit. We'll perhaps talk about the third kit in a minute. But uh, yeah, the, obviously Simon said they did break records for, the, uh, for day one sales, obviously for City anyway. So obviously we can't compare to these other big clubs, obviously, but there you go. And there's an interesting image, wasn't it? I mean, I didn't go to get to Tottenham myself. I had no chance of getting a ticket for that one. But uh, not cheap, is it? Not cheap to park around uh, Tottenham. I think, I think I'd rather uh, sort of just walk there from, from somewhere about 10 miles away than pay 30 quid for parking. I mean, do, do actually people actually pay that? They probably do. Uh, but I think it's pretty ridiculous, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, on the Wembley front, there was just some, some images I took. I, I think I posted some on Twitter, but I just, just some of my little four pictures there that I took of the day. All credit to the fans who went. I know we got plenty of stick, I mean, but I think overall there's probably just as many City fans in there as Leicester fans. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, great for all those turned up. And if you couldn't get there, it was unfortunate. Not not the greatest day, of course, but it, all credit to everybody who went anyway. And uh, I'd say it's 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 come, become commonplace for us now, isn't it? It's no, no great shakes to go for a community shield, to be honest with you. But it's nice to see the boys, wasn't it, after such a while, such a long time. Uh, yeah, my lad and I recently met up. Yeah, I posted a picture on, on Twitter, but he had a great shirt on. And I've, I've actually looked online. I think you can get this from certain companies about 25 quid or something like that. But it's obviously the Paul Dickoff slide on it. You can get one with Aguero... Uh, 
swirl in his shirt around his head, I believe, as well. So keep your eye out for that. I don't, I don't know what it's like when he's had a couple of washes, but it looks pretty good. Looked pretty good on him uh, on the night we met up, anyway. So uh, I thought I'd add that little picture there. If you, you've not seen that before, I certainly hadn't. My lad hadn't, hadn't seen that one. Uh, yeah, Manchester Airport. I always many many years ago when United were, were obviously massive and we we weren't. Uh, yeah, it was, it was always the souvenirs were always United based. You're very lucky if you found anything City fied but yeah, it has improved lately. But but uh, it was a bit sad to see that, wasn't it? That's a presentation by Cadbury's in Manchester Airport. But uh, obviously, you, you know, you've got teams like Wolves, etc. But no City. There are City ones available. Someone posted images of them. But obviously, not on this Manchester Airport uh, stand. Perhaps we're around the side. I don't know, but I doubt it. Uh, but yeah, a bit of a lack of effort from Manchester Airport. Pretty shocking. And those, uh, obviously, those American owners of Cadbury's now want want a good good scene. It's good looking at. I'm not I'm not happy with that at all. I, I do like Cadbury's, so I'll be I'll be not eating some for just a little while while I make my stand against that. Yeah, I love this image. Uh, I can't remember who posted. Oh, here we are. Yeah, at MCFC underscore Kai K A I. Uh, Posted this. I don't know if he was the original instigator, but uh, this uh, Grealish and Pep uh, picture definitely one of my favourites. I mean, you can put a little, you know, if you if you're good at photoshopping and messing about with it, you can put all haze around it, couldn't you? Make it look really impressive. But that is one of my favourite images. I must admit, I'll be hanging on to that in me uh, in me uh, photo folder for a while. I might be using that. And here we go, another little baby. Oh, another little baby rocking, rocking city at nap time. This is Gemma. Thanks for the image, Gemma. Uh, rocking city at nap. Oh, that's fantastic. That as long as it don't get too hot in that. But uh, a superb, superb uh, sort of uh, nightwear, if you like. I'd have a, I'd have a grown up version if I could. And Martin McGinn, yeah, he thanked Ginger Wigs. We, we obviously feature Ginger Wigs uh, gifts, don't we, and stuff like that. But he got a great, some great fame, frame photos from him. And they, as you can see, he's superbly placed him in his home uh, underneath the tunnel. It's like the tunnel going down the steps, that, isn't it, uh, at uh, Anfield? But uh, Martin McGinn posted those, superb. I mean, that's fantastic way of presenting the photos. And I was doing a 7071 season review for my history channel. And this image of Glimpardo, obviously, uh, with his crutch next to him, recovering from a broken leg that he obviously got from a certain Mr. Best at, uh, at uh, I think it was at Old Trafford, yeah, um, against United. So I thought I just thought it was a really good photo. So I, say, I was just doing me a little history thing. So I thought I'd just share that with you. You've probably seen that one before, but I think that's a great image. And uh, Ben at Milton 47. Yeah, interesting. If you know anything about this, um, sort of questioning what was this about? Yeah, an image featuring Bart Simpson, of course, and uh, look, well, it looks like Kyle Walker. I think it is Kyle Walker based on the number, but uh, I just wondered if anyone knew the backstory to that as to, to why it happened. There you go. So uh, let me know if you know anything more about that anyway. It's a bit of a puzzle. I'm sure he's not in an episode. I'm sure it's just a mock-up, a made-up image, but I might be wrong. There'll be more images later in our, in our social media roundup later. Uh, yeah, on the City site themselves, of course, as we wind up to the 21-22 season, these digital season cards, I mean, I, I look at supporter services stuff every day and things like this to try and get information, and there's a lot of people struggling with these tickets and a lot of older people who are going to be struggling. A lot of people saying they're not going to go again, which is it's a worry because as, as I checked this morning, we're on, I'm at... Uh, Tuesday the, what day are we today? Tuesday the 17th of August. Yeah, I mean, there's probably about six or 700 tickets still left to say, uh <clears throat> to sell on the site so it is a little bit worrying that people are just knocking it on the head and i've seen this for a, two or three months now about about this uh this problem and obviously we still as i'm doing this don't know what the you know do we have to have a, a proof of the covid jabs or do we have to have a test as certainly the premier league's not released any information yet and so there's lots of things going on that sort of thing that's uh obviously on these digital season cards so we'll see obviously see it in norwich i mean i have suggested obviously we all Obviously, where you can get in a bit. I mean, I'm usually an early anyway. I'm, I'm gonna be. I won't be. I won't be drinking. Usually, I have a walk round and I'm nipping Mary D's and have a walk around the ground. But I won't be able to do that this week because uh, I'll just be picking my lad up. Then we're probably more or less walking straight into the ground. So, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna get in fairly early anyway. But obviously, if we all get in early. I did ask yeah, supporter services if there be any discounts on food and drink, and they have passed it to the relevant people to sort that out. So hopefully, we'll get some sort of discount if you get in the ground. Get in encourage people to get in the ground a little bit earlier uh, just in case there are the threatened I mean obviously people are panicking there's going to be a total disaster hopefully it won't be fingers crossed we know what city are like so it probably might be but uh, yeah getting a little bit perhaps a little bit earlier but I'm sure some people just rock in 
five minutes before kickoff like they normally do but uh, the earlier we can get most people in the better and let's let's sell those last tickets hey eh? we're going to get rubbish already going to get rubbish aren't we for empty seats it's going to be on all season long so there you go uh other city news of course we've got the new digital magazine yeah i did a review of that if you check my uh, reviews uh for the September issue, a lot of people are a bit fed up that there's no hard copy, which is which is fair enough. I do, you know me, I like my hard copy anyway. But it it is what it is, and I say it's um, have a look at my review, but it's okay, it's okay. I won't say it's fantastic. Uh, some upcoming city games, obviously for the EDS and Academy. There's no women games due at any time soon. Uh, the EDS are in action on Friday, the twentieth of August, in Premier League Two uh, against Blackburn at home to Blackburn. Seven PM kickoff. There's no ticket details for that, so I assume that there won't be any tickets. They're certainly not advertising any at the moment. And then of course they're at Scunny. Hey, Scunny away next. Scunny away next season. Remember that there. Yeah, they're away at Scunny uh, on the twenty fourth of August in the EFL Cup. Of course, seven PM kickoff. So. Uh, yeah, if you, uh, again, there's no ticket uh, ticket details on that at all. But uh, away at Scunthorpe, yeah, I think there's a, there's a book in that, wasn't there? Or certainly, certainly something in it. Uh, the Academy at home, uh, sorry, away at Everton on Saturday, 21st of August with the 11 a.m. kickoff. So good luck to the EDS and Academy anyway on, on their new seasons. Back to Blues in Business, who we sort of uh, give a push for and obviously I encourage everyone to go at Blues underscore business. Give them a follow. If you need anything, you need to find a builder or you need to find something or you just, just want to publicise your city-orientated local business, that's what it's there for. So do that. And obviously, after this COVID thing, we've got to give support to everybody, haven't we? Uh, so obviously, we've got a couple of new ones featured on this one. Obviously, I'll give you a little list of, of some of the older ones that have been there for a while. So just the newer featured ones. We've got... We burn free which is a um, hand poured soy candles and wax melts vegan and cruelty free well i mean it shows how much i know about these things vegan and i thought that meant you just can't eat them but i mean obviously that's just me i'm, I'm, I'm old and st i'm stupid but uh, we burn free yeah give give them your support and of course, get involved with, uh, yeah, Feed Manchester at Feed underscore Manchester. They're always looking for volunteers to help them out. Uh, they go out at night on the streets of Manchester. Uh, obviously, they're looking for clothes as well. They give clothes to people and, and feed people living on the streets, unfortunately. They always need donations of any sort or any volunteers. So, yeah, get in touch with that brilliant organisation. Obviously, it's not it's not particularly city-led city, city -led or anything like that, but it's obviously a, a thing for all the whole of Manchester, you know, City fans, United fans. Fans, Stockport fans, you name it, whatever, whatever fans they are. But uh, yeah, if you can get involved in some way in that, that would be fantastic. And we've featured nice bums before, but uh, doing a little bit a bit uh, special thing, you know, during the school holidays, if people are struggling a little bit with the kids and a little bit short on money, they're help, helping out anyone struggling during these school holidays with a great gesture. So get in touch and uh, please give them your support. That's nice buns. will be a thing there. If, any of these things, if you can't find it, just, just DM me and I'll sort out the details for you. But uh, yeah, they're helping out anyone struggling during the school holidays there. So uh, give them your support and that's fantastic and thanks to yeah a little special one thanks to I'll give these guys a, a follow on twitter and give them your support at man city collect yeah who responded to an image posted by uh, malky bobs of a damaged memorial bench i think it's daisy nook around there um and this uh matt man city collects offered to repair the bench for no charge which is absolutely fantastic i mean it's horrible what people do but it's nice what other people can do as well so uh that's fantastic from uh, at man city collect so give him your support uh, and love guys a, a wonderful gesture uh, by this this uh, gentleman on there and i also i promised to give a shout out for beefy blue banana there you are beefy blue banana at beefy blue banana uh, i think he's a city fan i think i'm sure he is he, he follows me anyway who owns and runs a recording studio just five minutes set from the etihad my lad used to have one of those many many years ago uh, so give them a follow yeah at beefy blue banana so if you want a recording studio you want to record uh, the latest hit uh, the top top of the pops yeah, i'm very old I, I mean, i'm not I'm not up with the old uh, new stuff but uh, yeah there's a recording studio so that's not from uh, blues in business but obviously uh, obviously that's there and i did i did have to promise to give him a shout out so that's it at beefy blue banana so if you're interested in any recording studio just near to the etihad uh, just give them a shout and as I said, any problems, any links, just, just DM me or get in touch with me and I'll sort it out. And there'll be some on screen now, some stuff 
of all some previous blues in business i think i've caught most of them there may be the odd ones but obviously as the weeks go by on this we'll be adding new ones and re-mentioning re-mentioning ones like that uh the, the bakers then and stuff like that so if you did want any uh further details on anything on this blues in business but as i said if you're after anything if you need some work done and you've not see, you can't see anything just be, you put a shout out on there or if you're offering the service then put a shout out on there so it works both ways if you're looking for somebody or or you're obviously uh, got a got a business and want want uh, want to offer your services so that's how it works on there as i say so all the details are there right yep king of the kippers king of the kippers yeah the new issues out uh they'll be no longer on sale outside the ground because of the covid thing etc so uh uh, young Dave will be able to enjoy enjoy his, his home matches and not have to worry about what he's going to do with all these uh, A4 magazines, etc, etc. So they won't be on sale outside the ground, but uh, get your subs in. Uh, if you need any details on that, get in touch with me, but uh, you should be able to find that out. And it's still available on Kindle, of course, so you can always get it on Kindle. So that's King of the Kipax, a brand new issue out for the for the new season. Who's it going to be? Well, we knew, we knew we got one of them, didn't we? So we got one of them. Let's see if it's uh, we get the other one. But uh, there you go. Um, I did listen to talk. Uh, I don't listen to talk sport and all that much, but I was going on. I was driving home from watching the match with my lad the other day and. You know, there's some idiots, isn't there? I mean, there's this Tottenham guy on whinging about that we spent, you know, how can we spend 250 million when our turnover's less than 500 million? Well, does he not know it's sold for so many years? It's not a, it's not a one-off payment now. It's, uh, you know, but, I mean, the guys in the studio don't put these people right. They're just absolutely, you know, Robbie Savage and the other guy, they're absolutely bloody useless. So, I mean, I, you know, I, that's why I don't listen to those things usually. I just wanted to listen, but they, they do wind me up. The lack of football knowledge from fans and presenters is unbelievable but uh, they probably know it they just don't want to put him right because it's obviously sticking up for city so there you go but it's that anyway i digress that's something different uh, different other social media stuff yeah we got some great images from some of our graphic guys haven't we for match days we've got um Bra uh, to Brandy GPX, uh, a Grealish effort there uh, for the game at Spurs. So obviously it was put out before the game at Spurs. But that's a fantastic, isn't it? I mean, some of these, I don't know how these guys do some of these things. It's absolutely brilliant. And of course, Shika at SG underscore designs. We feature lots and lots of stuff. And I've got a few little little ones here that he's been posting over the last uh, couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, some great stuff. So we've got a, a sort of bit of an early one there on, on Kane Spurs City design, which is interesting because i say it has, it has half spurs half city so it's not wrong is it but uh yeah I don't, it's a bit preempting stuff but i think that's a great image there of kane and we've got some he's got a post a great one of kdb as well with some uh, fake imposter who can only look at kdb's glory and majesty county in the background you see his head peeping up there in the background that's uh that interloper who's, who's wouldn't, wouldn't not fit to lace kdb uh, boots is he let's be honest about it and john stone's got the full shikar treatment as well that is absolutely stunning i mean some of these images are fantastic. you'd love them i'd love them framed on the wall absolutely fantastic probably cost a fortune and i can't I don't, have, I don't have that sort of money at the moment but absolutely brilliant give this guy your support don't forget to uh, at um at sg underscore designs it doesn't cost anything for you to retweet all these amazing images and he's got obviously some older ones he's got aguero stuff there he's no longer with us but when you can look at images like that they're absolutely fantastic and stuff for the mancini area so era so if you go on his site and you're looking for bits of wallpaper and stuff that you might be able to make use of uh say shikar doesn't doesn't mind at all just uh, some great stuff the mancini area it even, even looks at youth as well he's got a great uh jamie mackety uh, thing there and morgan rogers of course uh collages from from yeah i mean it's just fantastic stuff just great stuff i say i, I wouldn't know where to start but all these these designers are fantastic there's even more to come in a minute um yeah away from sg designs we've got uh the third city kit yeah it isn't universally liked is it it's a bit a bit naff a bit too busy for me anyway there's lots going on it's not as a not as a football shirt as a as a t-shirt to wear it's okay so I, I wouldn't even like it like that to be honest with you but uh if you, if you did you know obviously as a as sort of training wear and stuff like that but as a third shirt not particularly if this is the one that's out and i do believe it is because i've seen it elsewhere as well but uh, chase at wavy creations yeah he does some great stuff on city stuff as a better version of course and look at that i mean just a slight redesign but what a difference that makes to that top you know it's not much not much difference between the two is there but it just makes it look absolutely fantastic so uh, chase at wavy creations fantastic stuff scott palfrey 
at Scott Palfrey's got a great image of the Algerian prince Riyad Mahrez there. So if you like your old Mahrez, the Algerian prince there, that's, that was a great image from Scott Palfrey. Uh, Najwan No at Najiwan is saving water. Yeah, saving water with a strip kit featuring our own Imeric, of course. Obviously, there's always a, say this new second kit has got uh, it's got its values, hasn't it? Away from away from football, etc. But uh, of course, that's a fantastic image. <laughs> that's just a brilliant image of Imeric. I'm hoping stay. I hope you stay. I hope you don't go, mate. You, if you, I know you're listening. I know you're watching. Uh, don't go anywhere. You're a fantastic player. Give us, give us, you know, stay, stay with City, mate. So that's at Najiwan with uh, a great, a great kit feature there. The second kit feature with our own Imeric. And then last issue, of course, in, in, in Blues in Business, we fe featured the Blue Cobbler. Yeah, within show, wasn't it? Um, uh, walkers based in Withenshaw. There was a mention of a blue room, and I did, I did wonder what it was. But obviously, there we go. We've got some images of the aforementioned room there. Some great, some great pictures. So I know now what a blue room is. I mean, I've got half a blue room. I've got half a film room. You know, I've got all my film stuff over the other side of this uh, this uh, back room or my office, if you like. Uh, so there you go. But that's uh, that's now I know what the blue room is. Uh, the blue cobbler on at uh, Walkers in Withenshaw, and he does all key stuff and things like that. But uh, so we have mentioned the gentleman before, but I thought we'd, I'd share with you the blue room. Over to City again, yeah, the rail seats are in. I'll be standing in one of those, obviously, against Norwich uh, uh, very, very soon, me and my lad. Uh, and we can't wait for that. Uh, so there, there, the rail seats have been just to see. They look OK. They look all right. I mean, you know, we were standing last season, but obviously we're in, in normal seats. But uh, whether there's more space, I'm not too sure. But, uh, yeah, they do look all right. Uh, Mark McCarthy, yeah, I think Man City shirts, is it? Uh, shared a great image of Lakey, uh, Paul Lakey. His 1991 wind cheater. How 90s is that? Well, similar, sort of 80s as well, isn't it? 80s, 90s. But uh, his 1991 City wind cheater. So that's a cracking hour. I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that now, even though it does for me is a little bit dated now. But it, hey, it's it's history, isn't it? At the end of the day. But yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't be averse to wearing that myself. Uh, poor Villa, of course. We have to feel sorry for him, don't we? We're still suffering a little from old Jackie. But there is some humour. I did like this. I did like this image that he posted. Uh, obviously about Jack. Jack Grealish or Joe Grealish, whoever he, whatever they want to call him. But I thought it was quite funny, actually. It did make me smile. I, I don't mind uh, a Mickey taking humour when it's funny. And I thought that I'd include that because I thought that was quite good from Villa. I mean, there's, let's face it, there's a lot of less less kind of things being said and images posted about uh, Mr Grealish. But there you go, a guy just trying to wanting to try and better himself. And that's all it is. And of course... Even I got involved, even I got involved, obviously I dug this picture up from a while back, there was some confusion obviously between him and a certain actress and uh, I just wanted to clarify which was which and uh, <laughs> but uh, now he's doing the business, also. I'm not into headbands on football as it doesn't do anything for me, not that I'm jealous or anything like that but uh, I'll sort of forgive him his headband now, he's played a, you know, certainly that Tottenham game, I thought he was our best player on the pitch so uh, yeah, um, there you go but I did, uh, sorry, sorry that's my that's my sense of humour but I'm sure, I know Jack's watching this and uh, I know you'll forgive me mate uh, Janice Cormack Wilson summed up City with the, the City these days with this image and the sentiment of course so I think that sort of more or less does sum it up doesn't it I mean and that's that, that's how it is it feels as though the, the every, you know the world's against us we can put up with it but I mean it's it, I don't mind constructive criticism but when it gets the same rubbish out of the week as I say I do go on Twitter a lot and Facebook and see all these comments I mean you know, all these people going on this onto onto a city, you know, city make a comment and they have to say something about oil and stuff like that. I mean, what are they even doing looking at the city site for? I mean, it's unbelievable. Uh, it's just how it is. But uh, I agree with Janice Cormack Wilson there. Well, well said. And it's always great to see old images of Main Road. And this was about the 70s and that was a great look at the cars. I think it's the 70s anyway. I'm not a great car person, but... Uh, that's always a great image to look at the old main stand. And uh, over to the Champions League, we've got images of the 21-22 ball. I mean, as long as it sort of flies right and it doesn't fl fly away, and it's not a flyaway fried old ball, then that's all I'm interested in. Yes, it's round and it's got stars on it. So well done, UEFA. You've done really well there with, with this season's ball. But there you go. We'll, we'll finish off with UEFA. I we'll, we'll wish we could finish off UEFA. Uh, please let me know any thoughts and comments. Send your uh, images in and stuff like that. Oh, always welcome of uh, say with this third kit coming out let's see some um 
full kits uh, full kits wearing that or perhaps not depending on what that third kit looks like which doesn't look great to me but hey you might look better on sometimes they do don't they but please uh, check out all my city stuff as well city past and present a lot of present stuff at the moment but with, with the odd city history thing coming out as well so don't don't forget about that but anyway thanks for watching let me know any comments anything any and that simpson thing you know nothing about that let me know Thanks for watching. We're going to do rest day. Have a great one. Look after yourselves. Look after your friends. Look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. So we meet here again on the Citizen Channel. Or perhaps have a flit across. Have a rest from football. Just have a look at my film and TV channel. I'll try and inform and entertain on there as well. I only ever ask one thing. If you don't, it's quite simple. Please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.